Hello everyone, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a triangle shape using C programming. So this video is for beginners who are just started with coding and those who are doing DM in my Instagram handle to bring a video on C programming. So before starting this video, let me know you one thing guys that I'm going to make a playlist where I will show you this type of coding tricks using C programming in 2024. So before wasting any time, let's finally jump into the program. So for making the triangle shape, we are going to use for loops only, okay? I hope you guys are aware with for loops and how it works. Alright, so here you can see the use of the first for loop is to manage the number of the rows like how many rows should be there to make a perfect triangle. And inside the loop, we have to add two more loops which is called nested for loop, right? So the use of the second for loop which is inside the first for loop is to manage the space of the left side as you can see in this image i am trying to show you okay so you can see there is a spaces in a certain manner which is decrementing as the star is incrementing here okay and the last for loop here is to printing the star from which you can create this type of triangle shape okay so as we are using three for loops we are supposed to initialize three variable so we will write it as int i j and k okay in the first for loop we just have to write a condition over here like i is equal to zero and we want to make five rows so for that we will write i less than equal to five which is the second condition and in the third condition if i is equal to less than five then i will be increment so here i will write it as i plus plus i hope you guys know this condition format so let's move to the next one in the next for loop condition like it is managing the spaces in the left side right so here i'm writing j is equal to 5 and if j is greater than i then j will be decrement okay it means if j is greater than i then j will be decrement and it print a space simultaneously why it will print space simultaneously let me explain you as i have written printf statement inside the second for loop so as long as j is not equal to i this loop will run continuously okay so let's move to the third for loop so as i have already told you that this for loop is used to print stars so here the condition is k is equal to 1 if k is less than equal to i then k will be increment okay and inside the third for loop we have to write the printf statement and here in the printf statement in the double quote we have to write a asterisk symbol so in example if you write in the double quote zero instead of this star icon then you can see in the output the triangle is made up of zeros only okay so it will print zero 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 and it will make a triangle i hope you guys understanding so this means in the first for loop when the value of i becomes two so this for loop will print two stars and again till the value of i is equal to the value of k this loop will run and it print star that's it so as you can see in this image that when the star is incrementing it is in the new line and that is why it is making a triangle shape so for that we have to write over here a new printf statement and inside this we just have to write a new line function that's it so let's run this and let's see it is working or not so as you can see i am facing some errors so let me just fix it so the ending curly braces of the first for loop should be here all right because there is one for loop inside that one for loop we are using two for loop okay so the ending curly braces of this for loop should be in the end so now i'm gonna just run this program and let's see how it works so okay you can see a perfect triangle has created with this program so as you can see my code over here i have written so in this triangle there is only five rows okay so it is looking very small so let's do something to make it user friendly so the user will decide how many rows they want to make to make a triangle okay so let's take one more integer variable a so write it in the print of statement and let's write inside this printf statement uh, enter the number of rows 
okay and let's take a number from the user so for that we will use scanner function and uh, ampersand d and after that we will store it in variable a all right so here in for loop we just have to make a small changes so instead of 5 simply we have to write i is equal to a okay so instead of 5 we have replaced the 5 from a okay and here in this for loop there is written j is equal to 5 so instead of 5 we have to replace it with a and that's all so simply test it and in example i'm writing here uh, 5 then you can see the perfect triangle has created and it has 5 rows so let's change it and make it uh, 10 and let me run this program so as you can see the big triangle which is having a 10 row so let's make it more bigger and let's try out 20 i hope this will work uh, let me run this program so guys as you can see it is working and it is looking so cool okay so i hope you guys understand each and every line of the code and if you didn't please watch it two to three times i hope you will understand the logic behind this program so that's it for today's video hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends so thanks for watching guys see you guys in the next one